micro mother goose. I just, I have to click on that. And this looks familiar. Hey diddle diddle, let's just do the first one. The way that it's drawing and then coloring them in looks really familiar to me. Like I must've had this when I was a kid or what is up with the spoon? Are those his legs? Well then what is this? Huh, they're just, uh, they're literally just nursery rhymes. Uh, what is, oh, whoa, orange contents. Oh, splat, what is splat? Oh, there's a game that doesn't work, I guess. Garfield each words. Fourth reasoning? Fourth reasoning? What is that? There's all these Garfield games. I, I gotta see fourth reasoning. I could do this for hours. This is so bizarre. Oh, there it is. Alright, we got the draw and the color in. Thing going on again. The fourth reasoning. Return to go on. R. Wild. Oh, hello. Welcome to the fourth reasoning. What's your name? Undercurrent. Oops. What's your name? Yodeler. How old are you? 24. Is this the first time you've seen the fourth R reasoning? Yes. I'm scared. Pandora's box is being opened. What the fuck? Tommy runs into the house. His clothes and hair are wet. Tommy, mom says, I didn't know that it was raining. Is it raining? <laughs> yes, it is raining. He's dripping. Maybe it's raining. We can't tell. Tommy's mommy... <laughs> thinks it's raining because he came in from outside and he is wet. He may have run through a sprinkler. That's true. He could have fallen in a lake. Someone may have thrown a pail of water at Tommy. That's very true. That's We shouldn't assume things. This game is teaching us not to assume things. Look at these lines. Oh, I know this trick now. This is before the days of the internet. I've seen this a million times. Which line looks longer? B looks longer, but it's not. But let's fuck with the game and say A. Lines A and B are the same length. This game just tries to make you feel dumb. <laughs> They're like, is this color blue? <laughs> You're like, yes. Well, no, it's actually turquoise, Mora. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is a great cell phone game. It should be called, We Make You Feel Stupid. It should be called, Are You Retarded? <laughs> this is an illusion, dipshit. Things are often not what they seem. We can collect information by seeing or observing. It's all bolded. <laughs> but we never see exactly. All right. You're not going to get me this time, game. Sue wakes up. Is Sue awake? <laughs> Sue wakes up, looks out her window, and sees large drifts of new snow. She is freezing because her feet are... <laughs> Not covered. She turns on the radio to find out her school if her school is closed. Okay. Is her school closed? Looks like it. And here are the school closings. Kalamazoo, Scott's Union. Yay, yells Sue. No school today. How did Sue know there was no school? Because they said the name on the radio. Here are the school closings. Kalamazoo, Scots, and Union, because she's from one of those three places. Radio. Yes, she listened to the report on the radio. We know many things because we hear them on the radio or TV. We also learn things from parents, teachers, and friends. Whoa, this is getting kind of freaky, like 1984 now. Big Brother stuff. We can read books and newspapers for information. When we learn things by listening to the radio or reading books, we are learning by report. Okay. Sue saw lots of new snow. This was her observation. She knew that her school was closed from the radio report. Oh, I see. All right. 
Uh, we'll use the re word report from now on. You crawl out of bed and go to the window. The sun is shining. A little girl runs by. She is barefoot and wearing shorts. It looks like a good day to go swimming. All right. Then your mom walks in. Hey, there's no reason to bring my mom into this. And says, it's going to be hot today. Can you go swimming? Yes. I can go swimming. Can you? Why did you decide that you can go swimming? Let's look at what happened. Okay. The sun was shining. The girl was barefoot and wore shorts. Mom says it's going to be hot. I can go swimming. Which ones are observations? Uh, a. And B. D. An observation is something you see. In that story, you saw the sun shining. You saw the girl run by the window. She was barefoot and wore shorts. These were your observations. Right. Which ones are observations? Which one is a report? Mom says it's going to be hot. That's a report. Which is your decision? D, I can go swimming. Wow, I'm good at this. You made a decision about going swimming. You also made decisions when you answered those questions, right? When you make a decision based on reports and observations, you are using your mind. You are thinking or reasoning. You are using logic. Huh. In this program, you will be asked to use logic. You must make decisions based on observations and reports. We all do this every day, except for liberals. Your friend Ted calls and says, I just heard that Sam's in the hospital, brah. Is your friend's statement a report or is it an observation? Uh, well, it's a report that based on a, probably a report that he heard. Report. You're right, under drummer. Since your friend didn't see Sam in the hospital, that statement is a report. Now, you could fuck with Sam and be like, how do you know Sam's in the hospital, huh? Huh, Ted? Huh? Did you see him? Did you actually see him with your own eyes laying in the hospital bed? Then you don't fucking know shit. Don't fucking call me again, Ted. Click. That's pretty neat. That, that Wow, that's been around since 84. That's crazy. Elf ABC by Mike Culver. Is that, is that supposed to be an elf? That's horrifying. Nature's Revenge. General Masters. This looks like a big dog made of poop. Wow, look, you could have endless fun here. You could just do this forever. Crickety Manor, written by Pat Ralph. Graphics by Tara Framer. Tara? That son of a bitch that beat us in multiplication? You're about to enter a Microsign Jr. twist a plot adventure. Twist a plot adventure? This is like Sierra Adventures. Do you want instructions? Nah. I, I think we'll be okay. Type your name. Under. Your name is Under. Is this correct? Sure. I thought it was going to ask me my last name, so we'll just go with that. Have you visited Crickety Manor before? No, I've not been to Crotchety Manor before. Crickety. Get ready to start your adventure. You will begin in your town library. All right. Please walk to your library now. <laughs> you know old games be saying shit like that. Walk to your library now. Continue the game from there. <laughs> One cold afternoon, you are sitting in a warm corner of the library. You are reading a very scary book, The Ghost That Screamed. Hmm. Just at the scariest moment, you feel a tap on your arm. Ow! You scream. Who would be so cruel? You look up and see a man, not a ghost, tapping your arm. I did not mean to scare you, he says. I just don't ever use contractions. I just wanted to tell you that the library is closing. You look at the clock and see that it is six o'clock on the clock. You will be late for dinner. All right. You put the book in your backpack and go outside. The street is empty. The cold wind makes the, tr the trees creak. You think about the book you were reading. You start to imagine that there is a ghost behind every tree. Then, then you see the empty old house on the corner. It looks very spooky in the dark. There is nothing to be afraid of. You keep saying to yourself, you're almost past the house. When you hear a noise, it must be the wind, you think. But you walk a little faster anyway. You hear it again. A far-off voice moans, help me, help me. You gulp. <clears throat> you look up at the old house. Something rips your face off. You're walking around with your face hanging down by your chin. There is a light in the very top window. You see a shadow. I see it. Ah. Press return to continue. Someone is in trouble, you think. I have to help them. You take a deep breath. You bravely walk up to the front porch of Crickety Ass Manor. <laughs> Crickety Manor. 
Oh, we got some graphics from porch. You are standing outside the old house. The sign says Crickety Manor. Closed. You hear the voice moan, Help me! Remember, if you want instructions about how to move, type the question mark key. Nope. I think I'll figure it out. K. Hmm? No? All right. I better do the question mark key. Oh, did we freeze it? We fucked it up. Can we look? No, that's left, right? Walk. Walk right into Crickety Manor. Entry hall. You brush cobwebs out of your hair and face. An orange spider watches you from one corner. That's a big-ass spider. Watch and listen for a secret word, says the spider in a scratchy voice. Okay? I will watch and listen. You sit down in a big chair. All the furniture is covered with velvet. No! You see a lacy valentine on a table. The fancy writing on it says, You are the one for me. You are the one for me. You think, mm, maybe I should take this. Take! With a T. A-K-E. Your hand goes right through it. It's not even fucking there, you moron! <laughs> dining room. A huge table is set for dinner. You hear a humming noise. The sound is coming from one of the forks on the table. You lean over and hear the fork sing. You may need the things you see. Take what you can, but don't take me. Oh, this is horrifying. Take fork. Why not? It disappears every time you touch it. Wow, is this game fucking with me? Like, I'm supposed to take stuff, but I'm not supposed to take anything that I see. Though I may need the things I see. We're going to fall right here. Oh, we just went down the stairs. Loading the next screen. Food cellar. The shelves are full of dusty jars and bottles. You blow away some of the dust and read the labels. Booberry jam, scarrots, and scream cheese. All the jars look empty. There is a baby bottle lying on the floor. It looks empty, too. Can I please take the baby bottle? The first thing I could ever take. It disappears every time you touch it. What the hell? Come on. Okay, well, we can't figure that out. All right, what should we play? Out with the owl. All right. Let's try this one. Out with this owl. I should be able to do this. No problem. Remember two things when you play out with the owl. Rule number one. Whenever the owl's right, he's right. Rule number two, whenever the owl's wrong, he's still right. The owl's turn. Cicada. Cicada? Under drummer's turn. Okay, I think we have to write in another animal that starts with A. So how about ant? Mm. Any more brain buses? Hang in there, under drum. You're doing fine. Okay. The owl's turn. Oh, okay, we got it right. Ant, tiger. An ant tiger, that'd be cool. Well, I'll just use tapeworm all the time. Challenge! All right. Under drummer's turn. Tapeworm. M, how about a manatee? Oh, how do you like that one? You probably think you're clever. I am clever! Don't talk back to me. The owl's turn. Manatee. Eagle. Okay. Let's do something crazy. Earworm. Huh? You're not the only one with worm knowledge. Illegal word! Check your spelling. Roll a word. Oh my gosh, the list goes on and on. Space Ark. The Space Ark. Plat Plato Spanish Boot. Seeing some duplicates here. Sea Voyagers, U.S. Adventure. Exploring Animal Adaptations. Wow. Your town. Hey, kind of sounds familiar. Isn't that the name of a play? 
Welcome to the Twister plot that takes place in your town. Type your name. Yeah, that's correct. Oh, now we get a little bicycle? Cool. Cool! Where do you want to live? Use the arrow keys to ride your bike. Um, I want the, I want to live out in the boondocks. No, let's live in the city. Your friend Billy invited you to his birthday party on Saturday. You know he's tired of all his old computer games, so you decide to get Billy a new computer game for his birthday present. Okay. Go on. You go to the computer store. There's so much to choose from, but you see three games that Billy would really like. Choose the game you want to play. Computer movies, melody matcher, trivial trivia. Let's get him trivial trivia. You choose trivial trivia. Is that the game you want to give Billy? Uh, yeah, that's why I picked it. No. You take the Trivial Trivia game home. You want to open the box and play with it. <laughs> but you think that wouldn't be fair to Billy. Fuck Billy, this is my game. <laughs> I'll wait until Saturday, then Billy and I can play Trivial Trivia together. Actually, Billy got me nothing for my birthday, so screw that. I'm playing Trivial Trivia right now. On Saturday morning, you wake up at 9. The party is at 11. Only two hours away, you're so excited about giving the Trivial Trivia game to Billy that you can't wait any longer. I have to test Trivial Trivia first, you think. You look for the gift butt. Your big butt. Your big butt's in the way. The Trivial Trivia game is gone. Stella! What the hell? Your sister Stella said she'd pay you back for the time you read her diary, and she did. She took the gift for Billy, and she sewed it into your ass. <laughs> your sister Stella is sadistic. <laughs> In its place, she left the book. Inside the book, you find a note. Why did Stella leave me a note, you wonder? What did this sadistic sister do now? Bring this book to the person who loves to read, but keeps lending her books to other people. What does this have to do with the gift, you think? Maybe if I bring the book to the right person, she'll have Billy's gift, huh? So I'll make me a sandwich. I sure hope that that's what's going on, you think, because I have to get Billy's gift back today, and Stella will be gone all day rehearsing her part in school play. Okay, who loves books but lends them to other people? That's the person I have to find. Who loves books but lends them to other people? As you leave the house, your mom says, Don't forget, under drummer, Billy's party starts at 11. I know, I know, it ends at 3, so the sooner I get there, the more time I'll have to play with the trivia trivia game. Your mom says, good luck, Thunder Drum, and be careful. Be sure to follow all the street signs. Sure, Mom, you say. Then you get on your bike and ride the fuck out of there. Go to the library. Where is the fucking library? Obey all the street signs. Oh, we can hold it down. Awesome. There's the library. Ride my bike right in there. You leave your bike outside the library and walk up to the front desk. Wow, this is pretty advanced. You ask the librarian, do you love to read but always lend out your books? She whispers, yes, why? You say, I think you may want this book. You hand her the book that your sister Stella left in the place of Billy's gift. The librarian takes the book from you. She hands you another book and whispers, I think you will like this book. You take the book and say, thanks. But do you know anything about a computer game? Shh, the librarian whispers loudly. Well, she's whispering loudly. There are people trying to read, and I think that's what you should do right now. You look at the book she gave you, it's called Silence is Golden, and you open it, a check for a million dollars falls out, and you fly your ass out of the city and move to the country and live happily ever after. You pick up the check. On the check are these words, pay to the order of the person who has given money all day long, but never keeps any of it. Wow. Obviously, we're going to go to the bank, and then da 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 Okay. Oh, look, we can go by categories. Awesome. Minnesota Educational Computing Consortium. Odell Lake Fraction Numbers, Speedway Math, Counting Critters, Pizza to Go, Jenny's Journeys, Path Tactics, Keyboard Mastering. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, definitely do yourself a favor, check this out. If you like the old games, this is, I mean, even if you don't, this is just a blast messing around on this site. Thanks for checking this out with me, guys. You've been hanging out with Thunder Drummer, the man who has never, ever made a Minecraft video. Have a good one.